Hello everyone, this is Scott of ET Database. I have something interesting for you, but it's pretty old. It's way back from 2012. Okay, this is a object that looks like a cocoon on Mars. It was found by the Mars Curiosity rover. And it's in the Rock Nest area, a very famous area during the Sol 65 uh, period. Okay, that's uh, the 65th day of the Mars Curiosity rover being on Mars. It recorded this object uh, right at its feet. And the object does appear to be very similar to a cocoon. Now, if you compare it to like a butterfly cocoon or a insect on Earth, the cocoon is very, very similar. Now, I did add an enhanced color here. If I put it back into normal, uh, you'll see that it. this is it. This is the normal photo right here. Uh, I did push auto levels and enhance it a little bit. Uh, but this is this is the cocoon on Mars. Now, it's found at this website right here. It's a NASA website, and I'll put the URL in the About section below the video so you can find that yourself. And uh, it really looks amazing. I mean, Here's what they say. The small debris on the ground beside Curiosity rover. The image from Mars Hand Lens Imager camera on NASA's Mars rover Curiosity shows a small bright object on the ground beside the rover at Rock Nest site. The object is just below the center of this image and is about half an inch, 1.3 centimeters long. The rover's team has assessed the object as debris from a spacecraft possibly the events of landing on mars now guys uh debris uh, nasa has been calling every ufo debris i mean they used to call them bogies a long time ago bogey we got a bogey but now they call them debris okay this is sort of like a code name to get rid of any possibility that it's alien in any way uh, we brought it over it's part of us it's part of our own uh, the bacteria is ours um, whatever it is they'll always say it's their own we dragged it along It's our debris It's our garbage It's our junk <laughs> literally it is their junk look um, I, I mean not that anyway <laughs> what I'm saying is uh, it's pretty awesome. This was taken in 2012, October 2012, on the 65th day. Now, it seems to me this object uh, is very similar to uh, a butterfly cocoon. Now, they might say it's their junk, but I think it's a different junk. Um, so, check that out. It looks like a butterfly cocoon. If I pop up the cocoon here and look at this image here and the color coloration the lines look at the lines on it wow it matches incredibly doesn't it it really looks like an insect now it's possible it's possible that uh, NASA did experiments and brought cocoons of butterflies to Mars wondering how long or, or how well they'll react after they hatch and uh, maybe they hatched on board in a closed air environment and um, they wanted to see how they did. I don't see any dead butterflies, but we have seen things around Mars rover flying around that looks very strange, uh, like a bird or a winged object. Could be a butterfly far away. But the thing is, maybe, maybe NASA brought their own butterflies and let them hatch in a closed uh, air environment inside the rover. And um, this might be one of the debris that fell off as they opened the slow small environment it just might be uh imagine five inches by five inches and it's holding uh, 16 cocoons okay or if it's just one cocoon imagine an environment uh one inch by two inches okay that's all that's necessary and a slight oxygen supply that's uh, put in very small so a one inch by two inch box area on the rover would be very simple for them to design and stick uh, one or two cocoons of a butterfly in there just to see what happens when they hatch why wouldn't they uh, but why wouldn't they tell us about that if that's true it's very possible they brought this over is what I'm saying um, now when I enhance it even more this is how it comes out and it's obviously transparent and uh, let's sharpen the detail a little bit. 
if I sharpen it too much, I lose a lot of the color and, and everything to it. So it, it seems to me it's in this natural color right here and that it is semi-transparent and it seems to be very, very butterfly-like. So in my opinion, NASA brought some experiments with them, including the squirrel on Mars that I reported long ago, um, which is obviously, I mean, us, they must have brought it to Mars. They must be doing some experiments without telling the public so they don't get a backlash and lose their funding. They care so much about funding. They care very little about um, uh, backlashes about like PETA, uh, saying you're killing animals and things like that. But they care more about funding. Uh, NASA without funding is no longer NASA. So I don't know, guys. You tell me. Do you think this is a cocoon taken from Earth and allowed to hatch on Mars to see what the life brought there, would, how it would react? Is this a real insect from Mars or, or an animal cocoon like a snake that sheds skin? What do you think this is, guys? What do you think this is? To me, to me, this this is from a life form, whether it be insect or animal, whether it's from Mars or from Earth, whether it was brought there or not. It seems to be an actual skin of an animal or insect. Tell me your comments in the about section. Like and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Button, please share this video. Helps me out so much. Thank you very much.